Hi there, still talking about earned value. Let's have a quick look at a different perspective to all this. Now let's say we're looking at a piece of work to do. Let's say it had to do with clearing this whole lot. Right, so we're looking at four sides, or we're looking at four quadrants, right? Let's say that we could break this down into four different sections. So here we are. I'll just break that down and show you what I'm talking about. Whoops, not that. But let me break this down into different sections. And let's say each of these represents a section that we need to get done, right, for the duration of the project. So let's say this is going to cost us $1 oops, to get done, and the same thing for everything else. This is going to take us one dollar to get done, same thing for this, going to take us a dollar to get done, and same thing for that. So a dollar for each quadrant. Think about it. How much is this whole project worth? And let's say, let's, let's give these some names as far as days are concerned. So that's day one, right? That's day two. This is day three. And down here we've got day four. So we've got a four day project. Let's put down the details. Four day project. Okay. Um, at the end of each day, we're going to have spent a dollar per day and gotten one dollar's worth of work done. So I hope you agree with that. Let me make this a little bit smaller so I can drag it out of the way for you to see. So, four day project. Move this out of the way. And let's look at the first day, because this is what earned value is all about. So, for day one, there are two things we need to consider. Duration. So what we're saying is, at the end of day one, we would have spent one dollar, right? We need to consider duration. That's where we plan the value, right, of the work that we're going to get done, right? So we're going to say that by the end of day one, we would have gotten one dollar's worth of work done. That is really our planned value, right? When we think about the time frame, and we think about the value we're placing on that work, we're talking about the planned value. That's one dollar, okay? Plan value for day one is one dollar. Do you agree? Now the next thing we need to think about is the actual. Let me just let you know that plan value always is there. You don't have to have started the project for there to be a plan value. Okay? You don't have to have done any work. You're just saying at the end of day one we would have spent one dollar and we would have gotten that quadrant done. Okay? Now earn value is different. EV, right, earn value is different. Earn value, in order to get earn value, you are going to have to have done some work. Work has to have started, otherwise earn value is going to be zero. You're not going to have gotten anything done. So let's talk about day one, okay? You can see that's worth one dollar. Let me ask you this. What happens if, I'm going to make this a little bit different, and make this a different shade here and let's say that on day one things didn't go as you planned okay so you end up only achieving that amount of work you see you only got a quarter of what you intended you would get done on day one does that make sense so instead of one dollar the question is what is the value of this work that you got done? Right, so earn value at end of day one is equal to the big question mark. Now looking at it, you can see that this is just a quarter of a dollar. So you're obviously going to say, oh, that's easy, that's 25 cents. But let's try and put a formula behind it. The formula is going to be earn value is equal to percent complete times plan value for that period. In other words, earned value is going to be equal to, you can see we only got 25% done, 
times our planned value for that day is a dollar, right? So our earned value, of course, at the end is going to be equal to 25 cents. That's our earned value. Earned value is a measure of how much work did you actually get done. What is the value of that work? And you can see the value of this work right here is 25 cents. That's all. Now let me make this a little bit smaller so that you can see it. 25 cents. That's how much that work is worth. So at the end of day one, earned value is 25 cents. We can see that planned value is a dollar. Now the big question is, I know that planned value is 25 cents, or planned value is one dollar, beg your pardon. I know earned value is 25 cents. What was our actual cost? And for the sake of this example, let's say we actually ended up spending, let's say we ended up spending a little bit more than expected. Now the question in a, on a real project will be, why did you only get a quarter of the work done? Were there weather delays? Was someone ill? Someone didn't show up? Let's say in this example there were weather delays. It rained. Not only did it rain, we also had to keep paying these employees or these contractors to get this work done. Now they couldn't do the work so they were on standby. They were just standing around sitting on the bench but they were being paid. So let's say we actually end up spending more because when the weather issue goes away and they can actually work, it's late in the day and they can't finish all the work they anticipate. So let's say they end up spending $1.50 at the end. This is a perfect scenario where you can see just because you spend $1.50 it doesn't mean that you got $1.50 worth of work done. You only got $0.25. Cents. You spend $1.50 the amount that you thought you would spend to get the work done was a dollar. But look at how much work you thought you would get done for a dollar. You actually thought you would get all of that work done, but you didn't. You ended up getting just that tiny piece done. So that is what earned value shows you. It shows you the value of the work performed. And that's why EV is called the budgeted cost of work performed. PV is called the budgeted cost of work scheduled and AC is called the actual cost of work performed. So if you do the metrics for this project, you'll find out that this is a very miserable project. They're doing really, really badly. Let's show you here what the SPI is. SPI will be equal to EV divided by PV. In this particular example, that will be equal to 0.25 divided by PV, which is a dollar and that means SPI is equal to 0 0.25 so what does that mean? of course you know that you would have your dollar signs don't forget that but your dollar signs cancel out to give you the 0 0.25 so you ask yourself what does that mean? that means that as far as schedule is concerned you are only 0.25 efficient I should say or 25 percent efficient on the schedule which means you're progressing at a really slow rate you're only getting 25% of the work that you would that you said you would get done, done. So at the end of the day you're only getting a quarter of the work done. That's one way to look at it. Now talking about CPI, CPI is equal to EV divided by AC and that's equal to 0 0.25 cents or dollars, I beg your pardon, which is 25 cents divided by AC which is one fifty, a dollar fifty. Right. So if you do the max, 0.25 divided by 1.25, let's just use that cell here, 0.25 divided by 1.5, and that's equal to 0 0.167, let's put the information there, so the, the question is, what does that mean? What does 0.1 six seven mean as far as actual cost well what that means is for each dollar and that should actually be in red because that's a horrendous CPI that what this means means that for each for each dollar spent you are only achieving zero 
zero point one six seven dollars worth of work. In other words, you're only getting seventeen cents worth of work done for each dollar you spend. That is very, very bad. Not good at all. So you spend a dollar and you get seventeen cents of work done. I mean I know this guy over here is busy, but I wonder what they're really doing out there on the site. These metrics are awful. But that shows you the project has gone to the dog. Schedule-wise, they're bad. Cost-wise, they're bad. If you look at the variance, you don't even want to go there. The variance is really bad. EV minus AC, you're minus $1.25 in the hole, and it's a very small project. You know, you've gone over even more than the work for that particular day itself.